When I'm eating Julie mangoes, I return to my childhood. Four years old, not much to say. Taking a plane to St. Vincent for the first time. Sucking mints to free my ears. Holding mummy's hand when my brothers aren't looking. When I'm eating Julie mangoes, I see my father catching the St. Vincent sunshine. As if he were playing cricket, I watch him push a ripe breadfruit into the open furnace in the garden. The smoke serenades the bedroom where he was born. When I'm eating Julie mangoes, I hear reggae and soca seeping through the green foliage of my auntie's roof's backyard as she hangs out the washing, singing sweetly to herself. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. When I'm eating Julie mangoes, I don't taste the hairy flesh sweeter than candy floss, yet strong like string. No, I taste the Caribbean sea as I splutter and cough like an engine on a cold morning. Maybe swimming is not for me. When I'm eating Julie mangoes, I don't smell roses or honey. I smell charcoal burning, red fruit roasting, salt fish frying, cornmeal boiling, first rain falling, and Uncle Clyde's laughter. Yes, my uncle's laughter smells. It smells like Julie mangoes with a hint 